Hello, everyone. Welcome to Email Picks. Say,、so、have you ever been asked to make a speech or presentation at the last minute? You know, at a company event or a party. I had never had that happen to me before until today. I was asked to make a short presentation at an HR event I was invited to. I thought I was just going to go there and have a good time, but apparently they were expecting me to speak. If I'm going to do it, I want to do a good job. So I'm trying to prepare slides for it right now, but I realized that I didn't even know how many minutes I was allowed to speak for, or、uh, whether the topic I was thinking of、uh, talking about would be appropriate for the for the purpose of the event. So today I'm going to write to the event organizer to confirm some details about the presentation I'm going to make. So here goes. Hello, Melinda. I have a quick question about the presentation I'm going to make at the event. Is there a time limit to the presentation? I was thinking of making mine five minutes or seven minutes long. I'm planning to give a talk with the title about ink painters, chefs, and removing labels from your career. Does this sound like something your guests would be interested in, in listening to? Please let me know. And thank you again for the opportunity. I will do my best to make it something worthwhile for everyone. Kyota. Okay. So I went right to the point by starting off the email with, "I have a quick question." Now notice I'm asking only yes/no questions like, "Is there a time limit to the presentation?" and "Does this sound like something your guests would be interested in?" It's because if I ask a five W one H question, it will sound too direct. For example, if I wrote, "What's the time limit?" or "What do you think?" it would sound too direct and it wouldn't give a good impression. So here's a nice and short and friendly email to confirm details of a request you got. So wish me luck with my presentation. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.